Hey everybody, it's great to be here on this Saturday afternoon or early evening. For some of you, it is actually Sunday because a lot of you are on the other side of the world. I wanted to talk more about what it was like to when I decided I was going to stop keeping God at arm's length. I decided I was going to allow myself to allow God to show me how great he really is and how this resonates with me and what it's like to be more like Christ when we are willing and able to say, God, I am not going to keep you at arm's length anymore. I am not going to, um, I'm going to listen to you more. So what could our life look like when we give it all to God in trust, especially in the discomfort? I know for a lot of you, it's not easy and that it's, it seems like the days are getting harder and harder as we go along, which to me is a sign that, you know, we need to trust in the discomfort more. So being more like Christ to me is listening to others. Let's, let's tune in to those perceptions, lead by example, and most importantly, just be yourself. One of my personal quotes that I love is hesitation and doubts are limited feelings to have, but what we do next is the challenge. I've learned that the best response is, what do I need to learn from this? All of this is happening for a reason, to help me become a stronger person inside and out. By listening instead of lecturing, you can gain knowledge and understanding which will lead to you loving more. And I think that is a true example of what it's like to be like Christ. I'm not here rattling off scriptures or reading scripture in front of you right now. I was just walking in downtown Glastonbury and I found this cute little table by this little water fountain, which is probably a little noisy. And I just said, you know what, Dennis, go to the trunk of your car, get your little selfie stand and share this message on Instagram Live. So that's what I'm doing with all of you right now. So I decided I was going to stop keeping God at arm's length. I decided I was going to allow myself to allow God to show me how great he really is. What does that entail? I know for myself, it's listening more. It's, um, it's, it's not only listening, but it's, it's following through on what he's sharing. And it's just, okay, so we have a comment from a friend. What would you say to somebody who is, for, uh, say to someone who is struggling with uh, perfectionism? Well, just what I was reading, God loves us because we are his and that alone makes us enough it makes us worthy and their whole existence is being us the greatest thing when we allow ourselves to trust the discomfort is when we can feel why we may be struggling with something and giving it to God and saying thank you Michael um, and saying God, you know, I am giving this to you. I am going to give you my biggest fear, my biggest worry, my biggest struggle. And I know personally that the power of God is love, nothing more. And he doesn't expect anything from us. But for us to strive to listen and strive to be more like him. And I got to say, you know, by listening instead of lecturing, we can gain understanding, which will lead to us learning more. I decided I was going to stop keeping God's at arm length. What could life look like if we give it all to God, especially that discomfort so today I went to a picnic. Actually, it was um, my cousin graduated from medical school. And, you know, it's like I found that 
I was getting a little discouraged because it was really hard to find anything that was water related at this picnic. And every time I opened up a cooler or something, I was reading the label and I'm going, hmm, what does this have in it? Because I didn't know. And then I said, you know what? I'm just going to go and ask my aunt. Do you have any juice or any seltzer water or any bottled water or whatever? And she goes, oh yeah, come with me. So when I decided I was going to stop worrying about it and just give it to him, I think that's exactly what Jesus would do is give it to Heavenly Father. You know, critics don't serve. They only judge and criticize. Don't be a hater. Be a participator. And I can guarantee that, as our friend says right here, God steps in after we do all we can. Giving your all doesn't necessarily, um, doesn't need perfection. And that is so true. That's our friend B-A-L-L-S-D. Thank you for that insight. Because this is strictly just an impromptu thing where I just felt like I needed to, to share. You know, we are all, one of my own personal quotes too is, we are all unique children of God on our own individual journeys. Don't ever let another person's opinion of you define your own self-worth. What anyone else thinks is irrelevant. It's the Lord's opinion is the one that matters and he thinks the world of you. No matter what, he thinks the world of you. So about letting go of that discomfort and my friend Crystal says progress over perfection. I love that. I love that. That's really good advice, Crystal. Thank you for that. God is good all the time. Yes, he is. And my friend Sherry, giving it to God brings peace. Not always easy, but if we want peace, we must give it to him. And our friend in Cambodia, thank you for tuning in from Cambodia. That is super cool. Um, is replying to our friend, I am reminded of Elder Bednar's quote, if you are a little bit better than you were yesterday, then that's enough. No one is perfect. That is so true. You know, I think about how I strive to be better as a YouTuber or a content creator is if I can just upload a video that is 1% better than the last one I did, or every time I go live on Instagram, if I can just be 1% or a half percent better than what I was the last time I went on, then I'm making that effort. And that's what matters. That's what makes the difference in, in, in how we can be more like Christ, our Savior. Because, you know, and again, it goes back to trusting in that discomfort and letting it go to God. And I just loved all of your comments that you said. Um, my friend Sandy says, I found giving it to the Lord helps me heal. Sandy, it's amazing that you brought that up today because I just prepared the video when we went live on Instagram to share your conversion story. I believe it was back in February or March. And... Um, I know there's a lot of buffering in that video, but I just felt inspired to share it. So I think in like two or three weeks, it's going to be on my YouTube channel. And I just thought, wow, it's been sitting in my um, to-do box for a while now. And I just said, you know what? It's time. So today I was working on that. And I love what you just said. I found giving it to the Lord helps me heal because we're all healing and our friend simple.am.lds says, we love you from the Philippines. Oh my gosh, I love our friends in the Philippines. I love my friends everywhere. Who am I kidding? My friend Kathy says, I have to, Sandy. Absolutely. Uh, let's see if we have other comments. Um, 
Our friend B-U-B-A says one underscore 90, the Lord's Prayer. I love that. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be by name. I just, um, I used to say that every Sunday when I was going to a Protestant church, the Lord's Prayer, and we were just studying that in the Come Follow Me program a month or two ago, and it just brought back memories of, of, of what it was like to say that, and that is a good prayer. Uh, and then we have our friend M-A-R-I-A-N-S, daughter, says, so happy to see you and hear your beautiful wisdom. I was just talking about you earlier today, and my ears must have been burning, which is probably what caused me to plop down in Glastonbury Center of Glastonbury, Connecticut, and go live right now <laughs> um, and share with you some thoughts about not keeping God at arm's length and about allowing the discomfort to help us. I appreciate all of you more than you know. And our friend L-A-M-I-R-A dot Wheeler. Oh, my best friend's last name is Wheeler. I love that. Um, says, thank you for this. I needed this reminder today to give it to him. So there's a few other things um, that I have. I talked about hesitation and doubt are legitimate feelings to have, but there's another quote that I love. Um, Our God will always be a loving God that is bound to his promise to us if we trying, if we are trying in any degree, and that's all it requires is trying in any degree. And that is, again, allowing us to not keep God at arm's length. And what could life look like if we gave it all to him? And it's getting awfully windy. What is it? I was down by the shore a few days ago on a boat and we had torrential storms. And then I come inland in Connecticut, and now we have the same thing all over again. So I, I, I must be like Tornado Dennis or something, because ha, who knows? Um, my friend in Cambodia says, um, this is how we grow as disciples. We need to keep him close and allow us to embrace the pain, to allow us to grow closer to him to help us find personal peace. Amen to that. Amen. And the person that keeps sending me requests to join, I don't accept them unless it's pre-planned because um, it's just one of my policies. I'm sorry. It's like I have a zero follow back policy. That's what it is. Our friend J uh, WJON says, even having a desire to try is enough. Find an angel to help you through. Amen. You know, in my angel, I felt them today. Um, when I was at the, the graduation party at my aunt's house, I said, gosh, you know, when I was getting hors d'oeuvres and stuff, I said, I, I should go sit with grandma. And then I realized grandma's not here anymore. And I said that to my mom and my uncle and he said, yeah, he goes, they're watching down on us from heaven. They're angels. And I felt my brother and I felt, you know, all of my ancestors from the other side of the veil were joining us in that celebration. And it was a beautiful, beautiful thing. So thank you for that constant reminder. Yes, we do have angels. And Sandy says, get blessings when you need them. It really helps. That is true. That is true. Gosh, Sandy. Um, yeah, that is so true. So I just want to close with my testimony that as we, um, you know, some of you have uh, the Sabbath today and like my friend in Cambodia, and I want to thank you for joining. And some of us have it tomorrow. So it doesn't matter where in the world you are. But if you're struggling with a testimony I know going to church tomorrow will strengthen mine. And I know partaking in the Sabbath is going to bring 
great joy as I reflect and ponder on that few minutes of the breaking of the bread and the, the partaking of the water during the Sabbath is going to allow me to receive personal revelation and guidance as I enjoy my Sabbath. And I know that as we strive to keep the Sabbath day holy and we strive to find ways to help and serve others by listening to those promptings and being more like Christ, we too can experience the blessings of the atonement of Jesus Christ. And I say that humbly in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, brother uh, Dave, thank you so much. And I just want to see if there's any other comments that I missed. And there's one more, and then I'll let you guys go. Up oh, two more, excuse me. Our friend, there are angels amongst each and every day. Both my parents have left this earthly life. I feel the presence each and every day. I do. Yeah, my younger brother, Darren, it's been um, 19 years since he died, and he's with me. I feel him now. I have goosebumps, and I want to thank you, uh, 204, for um, bringing that up. Our friend KMAV says, thank you for taking a minute to bring Christ into our day and for reminding us of angels aren't far away. The veil is really thin on the other side. Our friend uh, L H. T I E T J E N says, It is a battle every day. Arm yourself with God and you will thrive. It reminds me of putting on the armor of God, and I do that by putting on the CTR ring. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it represents several things in my life. It represents choose the right, it represents choose to remember Him. And it also recommend, um, it recommends, it says, it, rec it reminds me of current temple recommend holder, which is something I leave on the outside of my, my wallet that reminds me every time I take my wallet out of my pocket that I am a current temple recommend holder. So thank you for that reminder. And Crystal, amen. I always try to get the sacrament at home. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all. Um, hey, we do what we have to. And I just want to thank you for allowing me to bear my testimony. I will download this and sometime in the next couple of weeks, I'll upload it to my playlist on my YouTube channel. So have an awesome day, everybody. I love you. And more importantly, so doesn't God. Bye for now.